Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Salad Raider here. Uh, this video is a little bit special because I finally really uh, reached 100 subscribers. So thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Continue to, to support me, and I will continue making videos and tutorials. And feel free if you want me to make any specific uh, tutorials, just send me a private message or email me, and I will uh, try to make that for you. I'll try to support you as much as I can. Well, what I have in front of you right now is a game I've been working on. Uh, it's, right now it's called Hobo Survival, but I'm going to change that probably. It, I've been working on this on and off for about like four to six months now. And I've pretty much got the whole engine down. I'm planning on releasing this for the PC after it's done. Uh, now I just need uh, resources like sprites, music, sounds, etc. Uh, uh, there's some people working on that right now, but so far the game has none of that. All the sprites and stuff are made by me, and they sort of suck. So, <laughs> uh, here, enough of me talking. I'll just go ahead and play it. So you can move with the WASD keys, hold shift to run. You have like a little menu that pops up when you press tab, sort of like Skyrim. This game was actually very... Uh, influenced by Skyrim and Pokemon because those were like the two games I've been playing uh, during the time period when I was making this engine so there you go you get a lot of influence from the games you play uh, so you have your inventory I don't have anything here your character screen you can increase your stats and, and stuff you can save load the game you can go into full screen using options but go back to the menu I'm just gonna resume so uh, I made this engine work uh, event based so there's like uh, I made my own scripting language so there's uh, little scripts you can write and then the map reader will read that and stuff like that so it makes it really easy for the map developers and stuff like that so you can go to other people's homes talk to them uh, I haven't really made implemented a story into this yet although I do have one so it's pretty much just a de debug map so there's people that move randomly, uh, just talk, you can have choices, and you can battle people, shop, etc. So this guy, you can have a choice of what to say, and actually if we go here, this guy on the bottom left will battle me right here, but I don't want to talk to him just yet because I'm going to talk to this guy, and uh, if I say, tr tell him to... Uh, if I say treason, if I shout treason, uh, then he'll give me money. So, there we go, I got $5,000. Now, I'm going to go to the shop guy uh, and buy some stuff. Yeah, there's a bunch of drugs here, and that's because uh, I couldn't think of anything else to name the items to increase your stats. Oops, I bought zero the grenade, so I'll buy one grenade, uh, three, two of those, two of those, uh, one of those, I'll buy one of those, and two baseball bats. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and save my game because uh, I've progressed pretty far. Not really, but just hypothetically. So now I got all these items oops, in my inventory. So I got grenade uh, and other things. So actually, I want to equip uh, this and this right here. And that's all. You can only equip two weapons at a time. And I'm going to go talk to this guy. So I'm going to surprise him. He's going to be surprised. I'm going to talk to him again. Just, he says, if you talk to me again, you're dead. Uh, of course I'm going to talk to him again. Oh no, he's going to attack me. So, battles begin. And Sorry, the sprites look a little bit awkward, and that's because I was testing something, and I'm actually increasing the size, their size by uh, double. So they're actually supposed to be twice as small, and that's why the animations will be look really, really small. So, let's see, I can attack, I'll just do a basic attack, 
Oh, I attacked him with my pistol, so there you go. He died. And I found a t-shirt, which I can also equip and increase my armor and stuff like that. So that's basically the gist of the game. Uh, I can show you me loading a game so I can load my game. And as you can see, I have all my items I had before. I was in the same position, etc. So that's pretty much the game uh, as of now. It uh, doesn't really have a story or any purpose, just the engine, but I am planning to add all that uh, in the near future. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I will be uploading new tutorials soon, so you have that to look forward to. And if there's any other tutorials that you would like to see, uh, please just private message me or email me. So thank you uh, for watching this, and goodbye.